Hey there, friends. It's January 24th. I'm a little slow today. You ought to forgive me. I donated my bodily fluids for life-saving treatment on the same day that the doomsday clock was updated to 90 seconds. I also put a down payment on an AR-15. It felt good. And now I'm sitting with not much to my name, but I can feel the hands of the clock reaching midnight any day now. We have some updates. I felt like this was a significant enough update that warranted an entirely separate video. Some of you may like my rants. Some of you may not. I try to be as informative and... Um, all-encompassing as I can, you know, putting the pieces together. Okay, okay, you're with me? Here's some updates. A primary factor of why the Doomsday Clock was updated 10 seconds, which is not much, uh, still the closest ever we've been to Annihilation, is because of this whole Ukraine-Russia East-West debacle, right? Right. Well, today just took a major update. I mean, a major um, escalation, in my opinion, is here the U.S. officials saying they'll send, in fact, in a reversal here from AP News, I'll go back through that NBC in a second, Abrams tanks. Now look at these things. Okay, built in the early 80s. This was my childhood, right? I saw 9-11 as a young teenager and then there on forward, I knew men who went off to work around these things. Well, school kids, you know, people I knew. And I saw on the news every day, <sighs> wasting hundreds of thousands of rounds on terrorists. But of course, you guys will be quick to point out, they can't uh, use these things for a couple months, which means this war is already slated for a couple months from now. At that point, perhaps they'll be... Uh, obsolete given that will be escalated to a full-blown nuclear war because how how is this not a clear escalation of conflict this is exactly what russia warned about i'm anxious to see their response um i haven't been following this whole ukraine russia thing tit for tat the entire way it's been messy and convoluted but uh i see this as a major pinning point to what could unfold next um, I mean, here the Biden administration is saying as well, but uh, be a lot of logistics problems. And in, in addition, we're reiterating support for Finland. That's you, Jarko. Uh, Sweden and joining NATO. That is also another escalation. I mean, I maybe they should have just recorrected the midnight, you know, update to like maybe 80 seconds, like come out like, oopsies, you know, we made an error because I um, mean, here, look, we're spending another 125 million for, for their energy sector I need to remind you bernie sanders uh tweet recently i don't actually have it here on the screen but it said this essentially this country is socialism socialism for the rich and rugged individualism for the poor couldn't have said it much better okay just those that simple sentence implies that it's everyone out for everyone. Look at these. They get these these housing, modular housing complex by donated by the Polish government. Uh, one of my subscribers is Polish, right? Right? And even though, but the Pentagon and White House won't confirm, but we have multiple sources saying they are going to send tanks. And then to top the grossness off, you know, some real calamitous, insane, evil ape shit is replacing NATO allies, weapons NATO allies send to Ukraine could yield $21.7 billion in U.S. defense sales. Okay. And where does that profit go? To rich, old, boomer fucks with multiple boats and houses and cars and children and grandchildren. Okay. This can't keep going on. You see, you keep... You keep destroying opportunity for a younger generation to socialize, to uh, get accredited, the lack of skilled labor, okay? Police precincts can't hire people. Fuck the police. But I'm saying, like, 
all the specialized individual people, they, they're just not interested. We're, we're burnt out, dude. We're, we are worked to death here on the same page. Let me just go back to the story here. Because what I'm saying is you got to, you know, like when you walk into a store and you could just feel that it has a bad work culture there, you know, people are unhappy. Uh, the line is slow. That's a great example of what's going on across the country to our population. And it's evident everywhere I go, people are uh, frustrated, cutting each other. I mean, poor, sicken. Um, and here we are throwing millions and billions at these um, this war. Meanwhile, food price companies are, are uh, uh, gouging people. I'm just going to leave it on this doomsday clock here because part because of this Russian war in Ukraine that we just escalated massively with sending tanks, if you ask me. Uh, that's exactly what they warned against. If we do that, then that's basically us saying, uh, okay, we're going to we're going to war with you now directly, just using Ukraine as a proxy. But again, my point is the situation is rife for civil unrest and societal breakdown. I mean, it's it's we're just one teetering edge. I mean, one, you know, click, okay? You keep doing this to the population and they greed, you know, greed is good. It's going to come to a boiling point. Okay. There were two mass shootings this week. They were most likely racially driven. Some older guy just had it out for Asian people or maybe some people he, you know, he just had it like that. That was people marginalized in the society who have nothing to lose. Well, more and more people are in that position is what I'm saying. More and more people, not me, I am preparing uh, simply for the breakdown of civil society regardless and collapse. But here we are sitting at the almost February with uh, a clear escalation of conflict, mass shootings, and an abs a dismal outlook, okay? From just my generation and younger, like you're not alone, okay, living paycheck to paycheck for as long as as long as you can remember, you know, and seeing and just seeing the inequality around you. I figure there's a part there's a lot of men and women that just can just suppress these feelings, you know, but still sit with this. They're quietly suppressed, and it just takes I don't know how much longer. I certainly don't think. That not just because of climate, but just because of what I just mentioned, because of the inequality, because you're beating down on the on the people, the working class so hard for so long, um, that is an, an enormous eruptor of uh, conflict across the country in major cities. There's going to be zoned off areas, not even mentioning climate, just with the with the precipitous situation that we're in. This can't fly. This cannot fly. I've ran it on long enough about that. I just, I the writing is in the on the wall. Okay, I can see it from a mile away. You have a, a sick, destitute population, grinding six more than sixty six percent of them working paycheck to paycheck. Even those who are earning six figures. How do you think that goes? And and another, you think you can run that experiment for another decade? CEOs and billionaires, no. Without m many more mass shooting, I mean, yeah, I'll just stop there. Anyways, maybe I'll read the whole statement from uh, Atomic Scientist. Maybe I'll read it. I'm feeling kind of woozy lately and have goals to get to, you know, got to save the cheddar and just be, you know, just be okay with it. Just be okay with my, my own skin. All right. All your contributions help greatly, guys. Hope you're doing okay. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.